I, I think the uh, the the say the, the criticism, anyways, is that yeah. a guy like Leonardo. Like, so here's the order of degrees, right? You got Keanu Reeves, who's doing it right, right? He's a, he's got fame. He could be banging strange, and he, he could he has the options because he's Keanu Reeves. He chooses to get with the girl that he's with, right? Then you have uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is not married, and at the very least, he's not trying to say, "Hey, I'm trying to get married." I'm not trying to live this lifestyle that I think other people want me to live, but I am at least playing partially by the rules by only getting one girl at a time. And then you've got next down, you've got you've got like say the Justin Wallers and the and the Andrew Tates perceptually anyways, where they've got a main and they're cheating on that main because um, because they they're high value men and they deserve to exercise their options. And then I would say probably below that is the guy who is just simply spinning plates like indefinitely. Well, I mean, I think it comes back to, to your line, Rollo, which is um, um, infinite access to infinite sexuality or se infinite sexual options, really. I mean, what does the guy actually really want? And probably, in many cases, actually, the guy wants as access, access to as much variety as possible is the, is the truth of the matter. Well, actually, no, that's not strictly true. They probably want two things. They probably do want a main because we all like... The security of having we we all like the security of the main we all like the snuggles we all like the, watching the Netflix and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um, and then we want variety at the same time so if a guy like perceptually like you said Jay Waller or the Tates I mean th those are guys are winning really mm -hmm. you know now Leo could be doing the same thing and as far as we know he is doing the same thing we don't we don't know for sure but he's made a conscious choice to to go to go sort of semi or or like monogamous. Um, mm -hmm. Soft monogamy. <laughs> Soft monogamy with these with these yeah. different women. That's that's a choice that he's made. He but but really, I would say the guys like Tate and uh, uh, Waller perceptually. Obviously, we maybe things are different behind the scenes, but the perception of those guys is actually the win. Really, you mm -hmm. know, it's just most guys are too pussified to to admit that that's actually what they'd really want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I I'll tell you, I've I've been watching. How can you miss them? Uh, I've been watching uh, uh, John MLD's shorts, and one of them recently was he was talking about the the biggest problem with the red pill right now is that it promotes this you know uh, endless womanizing. Uh, first of all, that's horseshit, and then second of all, it's uh, it's like well, why would that even be a, a point of contention? Even if it were true, why would that be a point of contention? Why is it that a, why is that a problem in the red pill? To promote a lifestyle of endless womanizing or however you want it like endlessly spinning plates like like you're wow. just going to keep spinning plates until you can't do it anymore or until you're like leonardo dicaprio and you go okay now i just want to get with one chick um uh, first of all i don't think that the manosphere does that i don't think that the red pill even promotes pretty much anything like that because uh, it's it, it, again it's kind of like most guys can't realize that most guys don't get into learning game or understanding the red pill because they want to have this to, to increase their notch count. I think that's a, 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 a huge misperception of this space because it's been my experience over the last 20 some odd years now that when guys start to learn game, even as far back as the mystery method days, the guys who wanted to learn game so that they could get the girls, they didn't do it because they wanted to become some incorrigible player and lick every flavor of the ice cream. They did the it one to get one girl. girl just to get that one girl because they they were talking about guys who are virgins until their 30s. We're talking about guys who have never had any kind of options or any kind of sexual variety whatsoever beyond pornography, perhaps. And then you're talking about guys who really just want that dream girl. They want well, that they, they, monogamy, and so they see that as a means to the end. Well, they do, but is that because that's still what all they think they can get for them? They think even just the, the, the fantasy of getting that dream girl is so remote. I, I, I don't yeah, think they, that they, they can't even entertain the possibility of <laughs> of, 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 of of spinning plates perpetually. Not just before you come in, Paul. I agree with yeah. what Rollo just said. I don't think I don't think any of us is prom is promoting anything. Even no, me. no, I'm no. Not, I'm not promoting. <laughs> right, you just want people to get whatever you want. I understand. Be a play, be a playboy until you're until you're seventy. But what I would mm -hmm. say is, I think that it's absolutely possible. I think yes. the guys can absolutely continue mm -hmm. to date. Not oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree with that. Um, yeah, and, yep. and, and and I think it's I think the reason that more guys don't do it is partly because well because we all they don't think they know, can scarcity. They don't they think don't they can. can. We all do. We all do like um, a bit of security as well. We all do like the oxytocin of a relationship, and then the woman will take steps to 
to make sure that you you know you don't go and spread your seed any further. So then that right. happens. People get married and they leave the game. Um, <laughs> but also, they just don't think it's possible. But actually, in 2022, going into 2023, it's absolutely possible to be a perpetual bachelor. Even an ordinary guy who is an world famous movie star can live a DiCaprio esque lifestyle if he wants to yes. and if he knows what he's doing. It. If he knows what he's doing. So it's definitely possible. It's down to whether you want it, viewer, yeah, and, and whether sure. you're honest with yourself about what you actually want versus what you think you should want.